not the proper way to market infant uh, products. And what ended up happening is people would use the product in a way that it was not designed to be used. In other words, they wouldn't mix it with the right uh, quantity of liquid, it would get diluted, the, the child would get malnutrition. Uh, and, and so what we agreed to do was we cooperated with the, the uh, World Health Organization. I can't remember how many years ago. I don't know, Lori, uh, yeah. uh, do you remember what year that it all started? Uh, it, it started in about 1975 and ended in 18. Okay, so we worked within the World Health Organization to come up with a code for how to, we both could agree to market uh, infant formula around the world. Uh, we have lived by that code from that day. There are people that believe that we do not live by that code. We sit down with the World Health Organization, uh, I don't know how many times, four or five times a year. Uh, we look at any complaint that comes in and uh, investigate it, and we feel that we've lived by that. Now, not everybody uh, sees the world the same way we do. And uh, so uh, the, the boycott started in 75. There still is a lot of uh, kind of a hangover from that, is the best way to put it. And uh, But uh, we are adamant that we are going to work with the World Health Organization to market products in the way we both agree, and we're going to live by that, and if there are any complaints, we will investigate anything that we see. And if anything does come up, we'll, excuse me, we'll make changes. That has not happened. So, so and then, Robin, I don't know if you want to add anything. Oh, I'd love to. Uh, the uh, one thing that, uh, I'm Robin Wendell, yeah, by the way, and I, uh, <laughs> I manage our consumer services. I've worked with Nestle Infant Nutrition for about 21 years. Uh, and I hear the passion from moms, moms-to-be and dads, uh, and we get very few people that do actually contact us and ask us questions about <clears throat> Nestle and the boycott or what are you doing to, uh, what messages can you give me to help me think in a different way. It's a very um, outspoken group. But we do have internal as well as external auditors that I can't say that other formula companies also have. And as Brad will tell you, if uh, third world countries who have adopted the WHO code, we do not market infant formula in any country that has adopted the WHO code. Uh, the WHO code also means that uh, you cannot advertise, uh, you cannot have uh, any formula samples uh, provided to a hospital. You have to go through the government. It must be in written uh, request for a hospital to even get formula in a country that abides by the WHO code. The United States did not adopt the WHO code. We do abide by the spirit where we promote breastfeeding, but we did not adopt the WHO code because we felt it was more of a restriction of trade, uh, not to inform parents or to give parents information about their choices. So it's an interesting story and I'm passionate about it and I'd love to uh, have dinner with you, talking groups, give you any information that you might need uh, or want or to be able to tell the message. So. Thank you.